Welcome to a lesson on similar triangles using side, 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 and side, angle, side similarity. Let's start by talking about the side, side, side similarity theorem. If corresponding sides of two triangles are proportional, then the two triangles are similar. So looking at these two triangles here, if the ratio of A to D is equal to the ratio of B to E, which is equal to the ratio of C to F, then we have two similar triangles. So if we're trying to show that two triangles are similar by using side-side-side similarity, there are two ways to verify this proportion. One way would be to simplify each ratio and make sure that each ratio is equal to each other. And if you have difficulty simplifying fractions, you could also cross multiply to make sure that the cross products are equal, meaning A times E would have to equal B times D, B times F would have to equal C times E, and A times F would have to equal C times D. Let's take a look at a couple of examples. Here we want to determine if these two triangles are similar. So the most important thing is we have to identify the corresponding sides before we set up our proportion. Let's start by identifying the longest side of these two triangles. So this side of length 16 would correspond to this side of length 12, because it's the longest side of the two triangles. And then the side of length 8 would correspond to the side of length 6, because those are the two shortest sides of the triangles, which leaves this side to correspond to this side here. Now let's check to make sure that these sides are proportional. We want to check to see if 16 to 12 is equal to 12 to 9, which is equal to 8 to 6. So right now, this is a question mark. Are these proportional? Well, 16 and 12 have a common factor of 4. So 16 to 12 simplifies to 4 to 3. 12 and 9 have a common factor of 3. There are 4 3's and 12 and 3 3's and 9. And 8 and 6 have a common factor of 2. There are 4 2's and 8 and 3 2's and 6. Therefore, we can see that these three ratios are equal to each other, and therefore the corresponding sides are proportional. So these two triangles are similar by side, side, side. Now again, if you have difficulty simplifying fractions, we could also just check cross products, meaning is 16 times 9 equal to 12 times 12, and is 12 times 6 equal to 9 times 8. And then we should also check to make sure that 16 times 6 is equal to 12 times 8. So here we have 144 is equal to 144, that's true. Here we have 12 times 6, that's 72. 9 times 8 is also 72. And then 16 times 6 would be 96, and 12 times 8 is also 96. So all three cross products are equal, verifying again that all three sides are proportional. Therefore, these triangles are similar using side, side, side similarity. Let's take a look at one more example. Again, let's identify the corresponding sides, the longest side and the longest side, the shortest side and the shortest side, and the remaining side. Let's go ahead and set this up. I'm going to check to make sure that 21 to 35 is equal to 15 to 25, which is equal to 10 to 20. And again, we're checking to make sure this is true. If it's not true, these triangles are not similar. And by the way, something stands out to me. 10 to 20 simplifies to 1 to 2, or 1 half. These other ratios are not going to simplify to 1 to 2, or 1 half. This fraction here has a common factor of 5, therefore it simplifies to 3 fifths. These two have a common factor of 7. There are 3 7's and 21 and 5 7's and 35. So these two are equal, but they're obviously not equal to 1 half or 1 to 2. Therefore, these are not similar triangles. Now let's talk about side angle side similarity. If two sides of two triangles are proportional and the included angles are congruent, then the triangles are similar. So for example, if the ratio of A to D is equal to the ratio of B to E, and the included angle, or the angle here that's formed by those two sides, 
are congruent, these two triangles would be similar. It's important to remember that the congruent angles must be formed by the sides that are proportional. Let's take a look at two examples of side angle side similarity. Again, we want to determine if these two triangles are similar. We have a small triangle and a large triangle. So right away we know that angle A is congruent to itself, and now we need to make sure the corresponding sides are proportional. The next thing we have to notice is that the length of this side here would be nine plus three or twelve, and the length of this side here would be twelve plus five, or seventeen units. So our proportion would be, is nine to twelve equal to twelve to seventeen? And again, we can try to simplify these fractions or just cross multiply. I'm going to go ahead and cross multiply. Is twelve times twelve equal to nine times seventeen? Well, twelve times twelve is one hundred forty-four, and, and nine times seventeen is one hundred fifty-three. So these aren't equal, so these aren't equal. Therefore, this is not a proportion, and therefore these triangles are not similar. Let's take a look at one last example. So here we have two right triangles, and we know that right angles are always congruent. So now we just need to check to make sure that the two sides that form the angle are proportional. So this side corresponds to this side, and this side corresponds to this side. So our proportion would be is 15 to 10 equal to 36 to 24. And let's go ahead and simplify these fractions. 15 would be five times three, 10 is five times two, these two have a common factor of twelve, twelve times three and twelve times two. So you can see we have three to two is equal to three to two. Therefore, by side, angle, side, these two triangles are similar. Triangle ABC is similar to triangle, now let's be careful when we list these vertices, they need to be in corresponding order. So angle A corresponds to angle X, angle B corresponds to angle Z, and angle C corresponds to angle Y. So triangle ABC is similar to triangle XZY. I hope you found this video helpful.